Good morning, Year 8. Uh, we are moving on today to look at another poem. Um, so your do-now task is on the board. You've got some pictures there. What I want you to do is pick three adjectives to describe each person's personality. So if we do the first one together, the lady sat at the desk, I would say she looks... Um, intelligent because she's working two monitors which I always find confusing um, I would say she's smart yeah um, and maybe focused would be another word so for the other three pictures there or, or including that one actually so it's the four pictures because you might pick different words to me write down three adjectives to describe each personality pause the video while you do that now so we're going to have a look today at something called a stereotype. So what is a stereotype, first of all? Well, it's how you judge people based on what they look like. Okay, so um, some people say the stereotype is that women are more emotional than men. And really, that's not true. Men can be emotional. Women can be emotional. There's nothing wrong with everybody being emotional. Uh, another one would be maybe that men are better at sport. Okay, uh, and they're not really. They, they're perhaps just a bit stronger than a woman, but a woman can be just as good at sport. So, what I want you to think about now then is if we've got these stereotypes, these negative judgments we make about other people, what does that tell us about society? Are we being intelligent and kind? Okay, so just have a think about that for a minute. Move on when you're ready. Okay, so two pictures on the board there what, what how would you put those differently which one's better which which one would you rather be would you rather be working with the garbage truck or would you rather be driving the posh cars okay so our poem then is going to be about gar gar garbage men it's hard to say that um, and there are some words on the board here what I want you to do is organize these words into two lists a positive list so good words you'd like to be called and a negative list things that maybe seem a little bit insulting. So pause the video, do that now. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm very croaky this morning for some reason. So here is the poem. Um, I'm going to read it to you. What I want you to do is investigate it while, while I'm reading it. So who is being described? What is happening? And where is the poem set? Also, can you notice any of those positive negative words that you've just organised on that previous slide? At the stoplight waiting for the light, 9am downtown San Francisco, a bright yellow garbage truck with two garbage men in red plastic blazers standing on the backstop, one on each side hanging on and looking down into an elegant open Mercedes with an elegant couple in it. The man in a hip three-piece linen suit with shoulder-length blonde hair and sunglassed. The young woman so casually quaffed that means a hair, with short skirt and coloured stockings, on his way to the architect's office. And the two scavengers up since 4am, grungy from their route. On the way home, the older of the two with iron grey hair and hunched back, looking down like some gargoyle Quasimodo. And the younger of the two, also with sunglasses and long hair, about the same age as a Mercedes driver, <coughs> and both scavengers gazing down as from a great distance at the cool couple, as if they were watching some odorless TV ad in which everything is always possible, and the very red light for an instant, holding all four close together as if anything were possible between them, across that small gulf in the high sea of this democracy. <coughs> so, you need to pause now and have a go at those questions, and we'll talk them through in a sec. Pause now. Okay, brilliant, well done. Hopefully you can see that in this poem we've got two garbage men and we've got two posh people in a nice car. Okay, so that's who's being described. What's happening is that both of the vehicles, so the garbage truck and the car, are paused at a red light so they're actually really, really close together. And on the back of the garbage truck are the two garbage men who are just hanging onto the back of it ready to jump down and grab another bin. So they're really standing over the Mercedes, aren't they? Which is a bit lower down and has the people sat in it. And it's set in San Francisco. It says that. So, did you spot all of those positive negative words from here? If you did, that's amazing. If you didn't, pause the video now and just try and identify some of those. Okay, so we're working on towards you doing a peach paragraph to describe this poem. One of the lines in the poem, 
um, is Gargoyle Quasimodo. Now, I don't know if you know Quasimodo, he's the hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, so you might know it from the, the, the Disney film, I think it's Disney, um, but it means somebody with a deformed back who's quite ugly. And a gargoyle is the stone statue you find at the top of buildings, usually with an open mouth to channel rain through. So when it rains heavily, it looks like it's vomiting everywhere. Um, and so comparing that sort of ugly, dirty idea with the beautiful people in the Mercedes. We're going to look at that next lesson. But that is it for today. Alright, so well done. Don't forget to go back and do the quiz as well.